Greetings, everyone. In this short video presentation, I would like to discuss the topic of embracing the flow of life, of accepting what is, what has been, and what will be. When we process our life experience, we have a tendency to dualistically judge things, to see things as positive or negative, as good or bad. If we judge something as bad or negative, then there's a part of us that is resisting or rejecting whatever that reality is that wishes to somehow go back and change it, even though it can't be changed. It already has manifested. It's already come into existence. We can observe that experience, we can remember it, and we can learn from it, which will empower us to create perhaps something more desirable in our future experiences. Yet if we still hold a resistance or a rejection toward what has already occurred, then we're, in a sense, trapping our own energy, our own consciousness, in that undesirable reality. If we'd like to create something better as we move forward, it's helpful to learn to release and let go of whatever has already occurred, and to interpret whatever that experience was as being something that needed to manifest as part of your experience, as part of your path. Therefore, even things that seem negative or quote-unquote bad from your perspective are actually serving a positive purpose. They are supporting your evolution, the development of your consciousness. This actually relates to our most basic or fundamental beliefs about God, about the Creator and creation. If we consider the idea that that intelligent source has created a process of life that unfolds just as it needs to, that supports the exploration of consciousness, the exploration of life by every aspect of beingness, then there really is nothing at all wrong with anything that has occurred. Everything is just a natural expression of that intelligent essence as it manifests through experience. We could consider the example of this video presentation that we're watching right now. As this video was created, the person creating it could have looked at it and said, oh wait, there's a mistake here, let's go back and do this over. And so that original recording could have been erased and a new recording done to replace it. In our regular life experience, we can be honest with ourselves and realize that we can't do that we can't actually erase what we've already created. It already exists. There is no erase button. And therefore, we have to just take that experience as an opportunity to learn, to evolve. This attitude gives us the opportunity to turn something that we might have previously looked at with negativity and resistance is something that we are free to embrace, free to use to support our growth and evolution. Some of you may be familiar with a spiritual teacher, an author named Byron Katie, who uses the phrase loving what is to help people learn to accept and embrace life just as it unfolds. That may be a difficult concept to embrace, especially if we're using the word loving, since for most of us the word love relates to a very positive feeling, to something that 
brings us into a state of bliss or joy, a feeling of deep connection. Many experiences in life seem to bring us some feeling or emotion that's much different than that. And if we relate those types of lower vibratory emotions to that experience, then when we look at that experience, it's hard for us to tell ourselves that we can love that experience. Thus, to help us bridge the gap between that lower feeling and actually loving that experience, we can tell ourselves that it's okay to accept that experience, to embrace the flow of life as it unfolds. That brings us into more of a neutral way of looking at the experience, where we're not rejecting it, we're also not telling ourselves it's the most pleasant thing that we've ever encountered. We're just recognizing that it has a value and purpose and that it's something that we can observe and learn from, something that we can integrate into our personal journey. With spirituality, we can look at things in a more balanced way that enables us to integrate all of our experiences into our life journey. Whether we've taken a perspective on an experience that it's positive or negative, good or bad, we can see that it has a value. It contributes to a greater whole, to the totality of who we are, to the evolution of our consciousness. And that is really the goal of allowing ourselves to embrace life as it unfolds. Using life to help us transform our consciousness in an evolutionary process. I hope that this discussion has given some of you greater insight into your life, into your path, and into how you can shift your perspective and your way of relating to life and to your memories and experiences. I encourage everyone to watch more of the videos on my YouTube channel and also to visit my website at www.phinsights.com That's P-H-I-N-S-I-G-H-T-S dot C-O-M you can also find me on YouTube. My professional page there is face, excuse me, on Facebook. My professional page on Facebook is facebook.com slash Jedi Holistic Healing. I would like to thank each of you for taking this time to view this presentation. I wish everyone a good day. Namaste.